Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! How you guys doing? Today we're at Hobby Corner of Egypt, uh, interviewing the third place in OTS Egypt. Good Hello, Kenani. hello. How, how you doing? doing? Yeah. And um, he's gonna tell us more about his deck. And uh, he's playing Fiendsmith, Snake, Snake Eyes. Eyes. Yes. Yeah, I basically know nothing about yeah. Snake Eyes or any of the meta decks because yeah. I'm a stupid Dark Magician player, so... <laughs> it's, yeah. just the, it's, it's, it's just the, the best deck in the room. In, in, in any way you go, it's like, it, it is the, 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 the vanless target. It yeah. is the, the, the deck that, uh, that any, everyone wants to kill. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, the... the like you can you can you can misplay with this deck. You can you can do you can do uh, crazy crazy things with it, and you're gonna still win. The deck is that broken, so it's, yeah, it doesn't, it's doesn't a, even it's matter if you win. misplay. Yeah. But obviously obviously it it does require uh, skill because like we, we have multiple snake eyes players. <laughs> not obviously not not everyone got, got third place. So yeah, so that takes <laughs> yeah. The deck deck is crazy, but yeah, yeah it, it is a target for the bandits. Uh, for the upcoming band list, uh, it, it is truly, truly uh, get tier hit. zero. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's, it's, it's tier zero. It's, it's not it's not anything like the levels of we had in tournament issues before format, but yeah. it's, it's still tier zero. Like tier, tier, tournament issues at full power, still eats this deck alive. <laughs> but still, this that yeah, yeah, this deck is yeah, it's, it's broken. Do you want to get into it? Let's get started. So how many how many snake eyes did you face? Uh, I faced one. Uh, Only just, one? Just one, just one today. But I, I, I did play mostly matter, so um, uh, we had six rounds. Uh, I played, uh, uh, I, th I think just, just the first round was Great Raptor, uh, which is actually tough because yeah. they they have uh, tower-esque monsters. Uh, they are unaffected. Also, they have huge attack points, like they have 5,300 attack, and the other one is like 3,500. Uh, they, they're obviously un unaffected by card effects, uh, and they do a hold like when they when, when, when it's summoned. The red raptor is like in, in exceeds that they can go ahead and rank up with with their rank yeah. up spell, and yeah, it's crazy. Uh, but I, yeah, hand traps just kill kills the deck. The deck loses <laughs> loses to, to hand traps, uh, loses to negation on the raiders knight, so it's fine. Uh, but I think going from uh, from there forward, like I played uh, white woods. Uh, White Forest in the TCG. Yeah, uh, I played uh, Snake Eye. Uh, I played uh, uh, Branded. Yeah, and I played Memento. Memento was also crazy. Post Post Infinite Forbidden. They have very good new support. Yep. Um, obviously the Snake Eye Mirror. Uh, Snake Eye Feats with as well. He's not on the Snake yep. Eye field. Uh, and no U Bell. No U Bell. No U Bell today. Like th there was a couple of U Bell players, players, but I didn't match up against them. Okay. Uh, I was prepared. But uh, yeah, they <laughs> just didn't come up. And the final matchup, the, the, the only loss in the tournament. So I, I, uh, I finished X1 after six rounds. So I had five wins, one loss. Uh, the one loss was to um, uh, uh, Stun Buster Blader uh, with, with this deal. Yeah, yeah so it's just that, that, that's the Buster Blader lock and lots of this deal. This is actually <laughs> decent again, sadly, because of the King's yeah. cards. Yeah. So this is actually decent. I didn't play any today. I wish I did play a couple, uh, but yeah. I just couldn't fit in. Uh, maybe after the ban list, maybe when they ban a few cards, <laughs> we can have some space for them. Yeah. All uh, right. Yeah. Let's and, get right into it. Mm -hmm. All right. So starting with the snake eye stuff. Uh, three snake eye ash. Okay. Uh, two folklore, one oak, uh, one flamberge dragon. Okay. And uh, this beautiful baby that I, I actually pulled in the. Uh, pulled in the in the participation pack. So that's a consolation prize at least. Yo. Yeah. And yeah. So that's Snake Eye Day Boss Star. This is out of Legacy of Destruction. Yep. Uh, this uh, this is like this is the newest card. Like these yeah, these yeah. are post Phantom Nightmare standard yep. stuff. But this one post Legacy of Destruction. This allows uh, extreme extremely good extension with the field spell. Yep. Uh, so the field spell obviously places this um, from your uh, from your deck. Uh, grave or hand. Hand is very important because even though it's very pretty, you always draw it. Uh, mm -hmm. So these, yeah, these these are actually like if you unmask them, these are actually the blue eyes white dragons, both of them. Uh, yeah, they're just in disguise. They're, they're always in. They're always fine. One of them has to be in the hand. Yeah. Every, every single every single hand it has to be in the hand. So this uh, luckily this one places it from the hand. And yeah, obviously uh, it's a spell cast as well, which is extremely important as a, as a searchable spell cast so that you can get yeah. obviously lean in the extra. 
because uh, everyone everything else is pyro and this is a dragon for some reason. This is a dragon Y. That's mine. Yeah. But yeah, uh, field spell. Obviously, uh, other than that, it summons it summons anything uh, that, that you want to summon from the spell and trap zone from either zone. By the way, like you can you can you can put your opponent's monster in their spell and trap zone and you can revive it off of this. Also, the boost uh, helps you go for a game when like when you're grind games and you have these guys as bodies. These all have 1100. Uh, yep. These three all have 11. This becomes 2k. This is 19. This is 18. There, yeah, it's just a snake. It's standard snake or stuff. Not. I'm not going to talk too much about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, for the other cards, just get these out of the way. Uh, obviously, yeah, uh, akin to the snake eye stuff, three bonfires. Search, search yeah. any of these guys. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Search any of these. Uh, Rota, not, not too much to talk about. For the. Uh, <clears throat> so, that's the snake eye stuff. For the simple spoiler stuff, just three black witch Damn. that we wanted, and one original. So this is basically also uh, like full combo because this gets you into any of these guys, but yep. special summons it directly. Uh, obviously, the draw off of wanted is crazy. This also can add from the graveyard. So this actually helped me funny enough today. Uh, someone tried to bestial one of these, and I chained uh, wanted to add it back to the graveyard, so that it was the same target as the bestial. So the bestial wouldn't summon itself. Uh, which is uh, which is second effect also being a spell cast is very good. Yep. Her second effect actually comes up because I sometimes I summon it back with Celine uh, and I just leave her there and I link her off with IP um, if I have to. Uh, when I link her off with IP, I uh, I get her second effect so I can summon her back. Send for example, send a Flamberge, send a Poplar, get wanted and then get get value of a Flamberge or Poplar again. It's very good too. <laughs> yeah. It's guaranteed follow up, I'm not going to talk too much about it's that. It's too broken. Yeah, right? very good follow up. So, yeah, broken cards. So, that's the simple spoils for the cards that are making the most hype post Infinite Forbidden. <laughs> the most expensive cards. But, uh, oh, honestly, like, yeah, it's. it's yeah. Three Queen Smith Engraver. Three? Three Queen Smith No three. one. Yeah, no, no, three. Has to be three. Yeah. So, this is obviously. Oh, obviously, wow. this is full combo. This is full combo all on its own. Like, one Queen Smith Engraver is full combo. Uh, so yeah, card is card is absolutely crazy. Um, uh, it's effect. Uh, obviously, we're not going to talk about like the, the actual effect of this card and search a spell and summon all, and it summon itself back from the graveyard. That's fine. But the send effect, like it, uh, if it has an equipped card, which is in the extra deck, we're going we're gonna to see that soon. Uh, it uh, it can target uh, one equip and one uh, monster in the opponent's field mm. and sends it to the graveyard. It didn't yep. have to have that effect, but it just, it, <laughs> they, they had to have, yeah, so it has an in-hand effect, in-grave effect, and on-field effect, so three effects, all, all extremely broken. Yeah. It's full combo on its own. Yeah. Uh, the target for uh, Unfeed Smith Attract, and its target, Fabled Lurry. So this yeah. is like an old card that is seeing uh, play now, because <laughs> if it is discarded, it summons, it's special summon itself, and it's a light fiend. It is yeah. like the only card that you can uh, add with Attract and discard and get an effect of, so it's like, doesn't waste your normal summon, mm -hmm. uh, and obviously any light fiend is full combo. So yeah, so that's the the fiend's best stuff. Broken cards. Uh, Very. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna well, in the extra deck is even more bro more broken uh, fiend's best as well. So yeah, leave those guys there. Uh, rest is non engine. Uh, so the meta, the it's um, I'm still for this deck. I'm I'm not I'm not happy with the board breaker routes. I don't like Regeki, Harpies, Lightning Storm, none of that stuff. Okay. Uh, I'm still. Uh, well, uh, I like that yeah. stuff because I'm old school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it's very good, but uh, but at least not on the main deck. So for yeah. me, I'm still on the hand trap route. So uh, we've got uh, three Ash Blossom. Of course. Three Effect Vela. Three Nibiru. Wow. Three Draw. Three infinite impermanence uh, and two ghost spells. So that's um, yeah. So that's like seventeen hand traps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these like these are obviously the most impactful. I would say the these are top three. Yeah. Push these down to the bottom. Draw is so, really. Yeah, draw is like it, it's an it's now. an auto win against some decks. Like if you get draw, you just die, you just pass. Yep. There's nothing else to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, it's very good to catch people off guard if they start off with engraver. This kind yep. engraver, add track, get rolled, loses. Uh, unless they obviously have some of these cards we're about to show. Uh, but yeah, uh, Veil or Imper, not going to talk too much about those. Yeah. And um, yeah, Ash is just uh, very good against Branded, uh, which I did face. Uh, very good against 
literally everything. Like I, I don't think there's a point in time where this card was heavy, heavy bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But ghost spell, ghost spell was here for any bestials that I try to target these guys. Mm -hmm. uh, but obviously also uh, for the mirror match, because uh, some people get caught off card from this guy's effect, Flamberge. Summon back mm. two from Grave. This is an essential part of the combo. If that gets stopped uh, by a bell and they're, they're not prepared, they don't have any counterplay, they don't have a blues on board first. Mm. Or if they actually try to go for an early up loser line with Celine and they go Celine effect to revive the spellcast and they go and tap a loser, you bell them there. It's actually very good. Yep. So, yeah, this, this card, yeah, I don't want to play at three, but this card was very, very good, like extremely underrated. Most people play like stuff like Ghost Mourner or Ghost yeah. Ogre, but then this is much better, in my opinion. And the final card in the deck, this is a 45 card deck, by the way. I'm wow. always a fan of 40, but uh, there's just way too many stars, like way too many one card stars. You know, like, you're yeah, good. You're, good. you're good to go 45, it's fine. Uh, so, yeah, it's just three cross out because I, I want to I want to stop people playing these, yeah, on me, so yeah, just cross out any of these. And one cool black card. Of course. This card should be banned. Uh, I've ranted about this card many, many times. I think this card is extremely unfair. I also feel crossout should be limited now. Crossout could be, could be. Uh, I think, I think, I don't think that's gonna happen. But they did that in the OCG because they obviously have Max C. Yeah. Uh, and they have two cool guys. Uh, so yeah, like two cool. And they already, they already gave him in the uh, yeah. rarity too. So now yeah, it's their chance they to. They did, they did, they did that. As, uh, yeah, this mixed rarity is not very good. But, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, so that's the main deck. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think I would. I, I honestly like. I, I wouldn't change anything here. Uh, yeah. Maybe just add a, f a couple of bestials, like one Jerusalem, one uh, <coughs> one Magnuma. Yeah. But main deck was very, 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 very good. Uh, yeah. I, I I didn't break uh, at all. I had uh, all my hands had multiple hand traps mm -hmm. and multiple uh, combo stars. So I, I drew. I drew. There was a crazy hand. Uh, I drew one Ash, uh, one Wanted, uh, not Wanted, yeah, Wanted, and one Engraver. And I had like a couple of hand traps. I had Ash and I had Imper. Like hands like these, like, like wow. Okay. Yeah. And, I, and yeah, like so these these were these were good enough to stop them. And obviously, crazy. Like like choose like like choose your hand. Honestly, like this the hands of course the hands. Yeah. So <laughs> very good. Uh, so that's the main deck. Let's leave that there. Go into the extra deck. Uh, the extra deck is uh, honestly now it's it's a problem because the Fiend Smith, even though it's an amazing card, yep. Uh, uh, yeah, it takes it takes a lot of space in the extra deck. So yeah, uh, you're gonna see. So just we'll start off with the basic stuff. Okay. Uh, I still, everyone still plays. I uh, want Anima. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very good uh, now, even more than before. Because yeah. obviously you're gonna send Bobflower off of it. You're gonna go into SP with it. That's that's the stuff that we're used to. Mm. But this guy is now very good because and it's a spellcaster as well. So you can yeah. you can climb it to Celine with this. Wait, it's not a fiend. No, it's a spellcaster. If most people think it's a fiend, it's not. It's a spellcaster. So you can summon. Was it a linguished fiend? Uh, no, they're all spellcasters. I think so. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, so it's a spellcaster. You can you can link one into Poplar with it. You can go into SP with it. Mm. That's very, all very good. But now uh, it has a second target in the uh, Fabled Lurry. So if you need to make a six, and you have this engrave, and you need something to shuffle back to summon the engraver, and you don't want to link away uh, your uh, link two or your fusion, mm. you can just link one into this. Shuffle this back, summon this, and now you have two sixes. You can run, you can exceed with them. So that's a very good, uh, wow. that's, yeah, it's a very good synergy with with uh, animal. I actually summoned them a lot uh, with Larry, mm -hmm. using Larry as material. So yeah. Um, next, IP SP. Of course, IP SPs. SP is the uh, the the best extra deck card in the past two years, in my opinion. <laughs> There's nothing beats this guy. It's, yeah, it's, she's amazing. Um, I don't think she will ever be banned. I think this card yeah, is this, this card. Oh, uh, yeah, like so speaking about the ban list, it, most people are hyping this card to me on the on the next ban list. It's either IP or, or up. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be this because they need to sell this in the tin. Yeah. As like I like sure. Like she's already in. SP is broken, and you're gonna be playing it without IP. But this card, this is like this is like the value. Summoning this in the bonus turn. You want to summon <laughs> this in the bonus turn. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, 
Uh, otherwise, it just gets, it's just it gets worse going going uh, first at least if you summon mm. it itself. Yeah, still very good though. Uh, Heater, okay. uh, steal your opponent's monsters, but more importantly, you need because of the extra deck space, you need fire monsters that you can yep. link off the princess with. This princess locks you into fire, mm -hmm. and you need as much fire monsters as you uh, as you can have. So mm -hmm. this is the uh, one of these, and it's a spellcaster. And Celine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix, uh, amazing okay. card. Uh, this removing removing pesky back row. Yep. But also protecting your Kaldic monsters, especially Appaloosa, from being destroyed by battle. So most people don't know this actually, and some people hang on, this card does what now? This says Kaldic monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. So if you have an Appaloosa that has just one counter remaining, they want to go into battle, clear that Appaloosa, they can't. Because this is Kaldic, do it. Uh, points up, uh, loses points down, so it's both coding. Yep. Celine. Speaking about the girl. She's so, single. Yeah. You, you have continuous spells, you have the field spells. Mm -hmm. uh, these, uh, this is this is in the spell and trap zone as a spell, counts as a spell. Mm -hmm. you, you're always going to have at least three, it's guaranteed. It makes you go into uh, a loser faster. Mm -hmm. uh, Promethean Princess. Of course. Promethean Princess. Uh, uh, this, yeah, like, what can we say? Like broken, all, <laughs> broken all around. So yeah, uh, broken card, monster born, um, destruction in the opponent's there. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's very hard for this card to be banned because they cannot. Yeah, yeah. No, like, no, like, yeah. The bonanza yeah. and, and next year is thin as well. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of broken. This year, yeah, it's thin. The the most likely to be banned, I guess. Yeah, loser. It's a loser, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so as I said, he summon summon this. This um, is platinum. Platinum rare. Yeah. yeah, this is the best rarity in the game. Yeah, I think so as well. Call of the Century is very good, but platinum, platinum with Earth Collection two specifically. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Yeah, obviously this co link with uh, Mime Phoenix. This yep. is one of the very few decks, by the way. This deck, uh, one of the very few decks that actually gets like the entire value off of the card because because mm -hmm. because you, you're not you, you like you're not gonna kill it. Like it's gonna get it's gonna get all its negates. So if, if you don't have like Dark Ruler or Droplet for it, it's <laughs> gonna stay there. It's like it's not going anywhere because this co link is not gonna get destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, Appaloosa. Let's move that there. And the final uh, link four in the deck is Axis Code Talker. Also of course. in the Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This, uh, yeah. This is the main beta. Um, the, ma the, uh, the main beta of the deck yep, is all here. So you have uh, wind, fire, light, uh, <laughs> dark. There's, it, gets, it gets up to four pops. Also, it's an out to skill drain if you if you don't if you don't have it. Um, yeah, it's fifty three hundred. It's just it's just game. It's just yep. game. Yeah. And there's no space now for Zelantis, uh, sadly, uh, and uh, Raging Phoenix. So this has to do the drop, and it does. It's just one card. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna offer Celine. Uh, yeah, very good card. Yep. Uh, so that's the main extra deck stuff for the Fiendsman stuff. Uh, we have Moon. So yeah, this this will be banned. 100%. Yeah, yeah, probably, most probably it's actually. A common, this, common. Yeah, it's common. Yeah, the printer has common debaters. Like they're, they're gonna ban this card. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This this card, like any any two cards, any two cards is full piece of combo. Any two yeah. cards. It's it's the only, it's the only generic link to, uh, mm. light uh, light monster, uh, that's a fiend in the game. There's no other light fiend uh, link monster that is generic. Uh, obviously the Requiem, of course, uh, summons out and tags itself. It gives, uh, when it's equipped, it gives uh, 800 boost, doesn't come up, but it's good, I guess. Uh, one sequence, uh, so this uh, this obviously lets you fusion summon into your fusion. But mm -hmm. also it's, uh, it, it equips itself and protects from targeting. So if you want to if you want to protect your Desiree, if you want to get to, or your Lacrima, these can't, these can't get in turn. This is equipped to it. Yeah. And obviously, it's a link too, so it gives uh, Desiree more uh, negates. Uh, yeah, so uh, Lacrima. Uh, this card did not have to inflict 1200 damage on the rest That's a bonus. <laughs> no one asked for I don't think anyone asked for that. But yeah, so uh, it's a monster reborn on summon. It's a six, uh, so you can uh, revive your engraver, go into uh, uh, rank six, which we're going to get to. Mm. Um, that's pretty much it. And uh, it has a, an effect that I, I just read yesterday. This um, makes all your opponent's monsters lose 600 attack. <laughs> For no reason. Why? Okay. Sure. Uh, Desiree. Uh, yeah, so this is the, the, best, the best card. Uh, this stops Dark Rulers. Uh, this stops uh, 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 
any like any any ball breakers, uh, unless they obviously in the muscle droplets that you can't respond again. Yeah. But yeah. Um, obviously, it's like dark ruler. So if you have a trap card, if you have a spell card that you can chain, uh, and then you target, uh, you non-target actually, non-target negate up to the uh, link rating of the equipped monster. So you have sequence equal to it, so you can negate two face-up cards. It actually comes up uh, on your turn as well to negate the princess. Uh, so after you use it to revive, you negate it. You get rid of the file lock. You know the file lock. You can use this to go into Appaloosa. Um, so yeah, there's a way. And Beatrice. Uh, this this will Beatrice be will be bad. This will be bad. That's yeah. the question. It's like like you can you, we we can we can speak about this. We can speak about Appaloosa. This is getting banned. There's no way. Yeah, there's yeah. no way. I'm I'm not playing any targets for in your side deck. Uh, there's like the the angel of blue tears. There's like the transaction rollback stuff. I'm mm -hmm. not playing any of that. But this is like this. This is what makes uh, one piece of four combo because you can send Snake Eye Ash and revive it of Princess. <laughs> it's got it. Yeah, it's got it. Scary. Man, it's got it. It's got it. There's yeah. no way. Uh, actually, I never summoned it yesterday because I always open combo. But uh, and I don't I, think with all this yeah, power you need to play. Yeah, yeah. I, I, what I should have done though in the side deck is I should have played targets for it. Um, the Angel Blue Tears uh, set any trap, any normal trap card in the game. So yeah, mm -hmm. good like that. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just, I just, I just wanted to get like two hand traps, make me go for combo with Moon, basically. Mm -hmm. That's why Beatrice is here. Uh, finally, for the side deck, I'm not gonna take too long. Phantasmi. Uh, honestly, pretty disappointing yesterday for the matchups. It's a very good card. Um, yeah. It fixes your hand you, if you draw one of these fellas, one of these nice fellas. Uh, you get to put them back. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, and fixes the hand, plus is one. The body is very nice, like the extender is very nice. The target protection is also very good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the most hated side deck card, <laughs> man, Three Ghost Sisters. Uh, I never actually used it. I, I drew it uh, in the final, which I won actually. I won the final. Uh, That's a funny thing as well. Um, uh, like the first, second, and third place, we're, 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 we're all at 15 points. Uh, we're all X1. But the tiebreakers. Uh, and I won the final as well, but the tiebreakers just got me to third place, which is okay. He <laughs> passed it a winner, he's very good. Uh, yeah, it's very good. Um, uh, three Cosmic Cyclone, this was the only out uh, to stun. Yeah. Uh, I didn't face him. He was actually, he was, he was actually, I, I think he got top 10. Yeah, like he, he, he progressed far, far in, the, in, the, in the tournament. But yeah, uh, Cosmic for any, any pesky back row. Um, it, it helped me against. Uh, uh, the the stump player the the buster played a stump player but I still <laughs> lost to him but yeah it's okay um, yeah three damn those buster player yeah. players three dark ruler uh, this uh, I, I don't I, I think this in the current format is better than a droplet because yeah. droplet you can discard your entire hand mm -hmm. As, uh, we're, we're, we're not about that like going no no stop that yeah it's just dark ruler uh, you're not gonna kill them it's okay and the final cards. Two skill drain. This was uh, this should have been three. I'm gonna put it up to three. This this was my MVP side deck card. Okay. This won me uh, the final. Uh, you just skill drain. No, no back row removal. No, mm -hmm. lucky. You lose. And uh, the final card is Fucho. So this is for Tempai. Tempai has no out. <laughs> you, like it's just Kaiju. Nothing else. Honestly, I, I I played Tempai. I know how it happens. There's no out for this card. So this card says it's unaffected. And you take no battle damage from battles informing it, and it cannot be destroyed by battle. Just stay there, like an asshole, zero, zero, it teases them, it teases them, they can't kill it, I take no damage, it's unaffected, you can't do anything about it. Yeah. And it also, if I get shifted, if I, if they, if anyone plays shifted, like the ritual beast player, yeah, there he is. Um, uh, yeah, if I get, if I get shifted, I just summon this, and if you don't pass on that, you can't kill me through this, uh, and I just... I just get follow up with the field spell. Uh, and yeah, that's that, that was that was good enough. So that was the that was the uh, deck. That was the Dean Smith. This is the strongest. Yeah, strongest. Yeah, strongest. Yeah, strongest deck in Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment, I would say. Uh, just a couple of shout outs uh, before we end. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to shout out my uh, my my testing partner, my teammate, uh, uh, Caleb. Also, obviously, to uh, the shout out to Hobby Corner, the place that hosts us every single week. Uh, shout out to uh, Tifa because he actually provided uh, provided us with the uh, Fleetsmith uh, engine. Yeah, well, we got it through him. Otherwise, it's we, we couldn't get the uh, the engine. Otherwise, so yes, uh, shout out to all the uh, uh, testing partners and uh, shout out to uh, 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 shout out. Subscribe. Yeah, obviously, obviously <laughs> subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. All that good stuff as well. 
Yeah. Congrats to uh, Hab and uh, and uh, Mohammed Amr, the the other, the other two winners of the tournament. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Yeah. Stay safe and bye.